Hey internet, it's Matt at Overthrow Woodcraft and I just finished installing this massive 13 foot wide uh, miter station for a client. And I wanted to briefly talk about this area of it because while the miter station is obviously loaded with a ton of storage and other cool features, um, this is kind of the unique part of it and um, it's basically just an adjustable miter saw base. And so the reason why I made this is because eventually the client is going to upgrade his miter saw to a 12 inch miter saw. And normally I would, I would just make a, a base that completely brings the miter saw's work surface flush with um, you know, the sides. But because he's gonna upgrade, I wanted him to have the ability to kind of expand without the hassle of then having to make another base for it. What I just kind of did was um, just took a piece of melamine and then it's just has the ability to raise and lower with a series of nuts, bolts, and washers. And because this miter saw obviously isn't very wide, but his next one will most likely be much wider, like my Delta 12 inch uh, cruiser, that's much wider than this one. Um, I wanted the ability to uh, just kind of keep these gaps closed. With that, I just did these kind of uh, melamine off cuts, made some square tuning out of that, and they'll just be secured with double sided tape. But I'm going to go ahead and get you a close up of this. So here's a close up of everything. I just went and I drilled. Um, four, I used half inch bolts, so I did four half inch bolts and drilled those holes in all four corners. Then I've got my six inch bolt coming up through there for some added stability. I sandwiched washers, another bolt, another washer, and then on top. So if I want to adjust this to raise and lower the height of this, to obviously affect how flush my miter saw is gonna be sitting. Um, it's really simple. You're just adjusting these bolts right here. I've got it all dialed in, so I'm not gonna do that now. But uh, these never move, only adjusting these, and you can either keep track of how many turns you've gone on each bolt, or you can just take a, a combination square and kind of dial it in and then use your depth and reference that. Now, once I've got everything all dialed in, I'm just going to go ahead and secure it. And I'll repeat that process on all four corners. Another thing worth noting is when I cut these uh, spacer blocks, I left them maybe a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch shorter than this. So now, as you can see, there's zero gaps there, completely flush with the sides. Really isn't gonna get any better than that. All right, well that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments and I hope this helps someone. Uh, until then, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time, thanks.